How's it going everyone? Today I got yet another Dirty Bomb loadout review. The first review I did got some pretty decent feedback so I figured hey why not just do another one so here we go. Today we'll be reviewing the BL73 Premium Operative, a gold loadout for Bushwhacker or uh, Bushwhacker. For those who are unfamiliar, the first four letters of this loadout card will tell you what the weapons this card has. So the BL means that it has the Blishlock SMG. The 7 is for the Calden um, semi-auto pistol, and the 3 is for the cricket bat. Now it being a gold loadout card, you do get 3 augments for bushwhackers. Starting us off with the augments is try hard, followed by lock on, and then quick draw. Um, so for the BL73, you get the Blishlock SMG for the primary weapon. While it is technically an SMG, it's got to be one of the slowest firing automatic weapons. However, it is compensated for this by its high damage output. For those who have ever played Planetside 2, this sort of reminds me of the Cyclone SMG for the new conglomerate. Anyways, for the damage, the Blishlock will be hitting at a maximum of 18 damage body shots, which is 36 damage headshots, but at a rate of 401 RPM. Which is even slower than Fracker's LMG and only about 40 rounds per minute faster than the Dreiss AR, which is of course a semi-automatic. Um, the magazine size is 30 rounds and the reload speed is at 1.9 seconds. So the Blishlock, either you love it or you hate it. Because it fires really slowly, it's best for players who have very good aim and tracking skills. I don't consider myself a pro at Dirty Bomb by any means, but I would say after a few matches with the Blishlock, I became accustomed to its handling and made it work. So guys, I would say the damage per bullet is pretty nice, but if you prefer faster firing SMGs, this may not be for you. The damage per second is not the best in the SMG class, coming in at 120 for the Blishlock, especially if you start comparing it to the 45 round Kek 10 which has a DPS or damage per second of 128. I would say stat wise it may not be the best weapon but because of the increased damage per bullet thus greater effective range I would argue that the weapon works fine for people who have decent aim. It does however have one of the highest damage per magazine stats at 540 damage per mag. Uh, this beats shotguns but it loses to a few guns like the LMGs but you know the LMGs have 50 rounds in the mag. I'm not exactly sure how useful this stat is but it's perhaps worthwhile noting. It comes with the reflex sight which is nice but for the acquisition dot, it's like a giant green pea. And no, I don't mean the extra commit, I'm talking about like a giant green pea from a pea pod. The pea site is pretty terrible and I hope they fix it so the dot is a little tighter. Um, if they do, I would argue that this gun be very nice for aiming down sights at medium to long range. So next up for the secondaries, you have the Calden Semi-Auto Pistol. You get 19 damage per bullet, which is 38 to the head, and max rounds per minute of 361. A magazine size is kind of tiny at 7 rounds and the reload time is 1.3 seconds. This isn't exactly the kind of pistol you want to depend on if the Blishlock runs out of ammo entirely. For the average player, you can't really hope to take down someone at full health, um, even if you flank them. With 7 rounds of the magazine hitting 19 damage a pop, there is very, very little room for error. So instead, keep this as a spammable weapon you whip out only when you're in a duel and say your primary runs out of bullets in the magazine. The maximum amount of damage you'll be doing with the pistol if you land all the shots at maximum damage range is 133 if you land all body shots. If you land all headshots, that'll be 266. So last but not least is the Cricket Bat. This is the melee weapon for the loadout. It does 55 damage per swing at a rate of 110 swings per minute. So for the augments, you get 3, and we'll start with Tryhard. This perk is pretty interesting. You get 10 HP per death if you don't get a kill in the previous life. It's a decent perk if you stack up 140 HP if you keep dying a lot. If you're a decent player, you may not get this bonus too often. Most likely you'll probably get, I don't know, one stack of this augment, putting you at 120 HP for Bushwhacker. I personally find this augment mediocre at best, but it could be pretty decent depending on the situation. Next up we have Lock On. This is a perk that apparently gives you 30% reduction in the acquisition time for your turret. Now I have enlisted our wonderful community mod Ardez to help me test this out if it makes a huge difference. As you can see here we have Ardez dressed up as Rhino running across the street and we have the turret shooting at him. 
The difference is not that big, guys. I don't know if it is a bug or what, but it certainly is not 30% faster. With or without lock-on, the acquisition time was so similar that Ardez had the same HP by the time he crossed the street. Finally, we have Quick Draw. Jack over at WTSFM did a review on a loadout that had this perk, but basically what it does is that it increases the speed that your character takes out a weapon if you're switching from something that you're holding. So, for example, if you're setting up a turret, you will ever so slightly bring up your gun a little bit faster after setting that turret. I would say the benefits of this, like most perks, is pretty small of a difference, especially because you're taking 30% off of an already small number, and I don't believe it takes that long for Bushwhacker to bring up his gun. However, if it has any difference, the Engineer class, which is what Bushwhacker is, will benefit the most from it. As you are playing Engineer, you'll be doing a lot of the objectives and setting turns, and being in a situation where an enemy comes out of the corner by surprise isn't an uncommon scenario. Overall, I find the BL73 Premium Operative Loadout for Bushwhacker about average. The Blishlock as a primary weapon stat-wise is a little disappointing. I hope they buff it even a little bit for the DPS. Another thing they could do would be to bring the reload speed down a little bit um, because it already has a slow rate of fire, small magazine, maybe a reload speed of 1.6 or 1.7 seconds may be good enough of a redeeming factor for this gun. I wouldn't say that Blishlock is a terrible or bad weapon by any means. It's definitely usable and I've been on plenty of streaks with it. It's just, you know, it's got its own personality, if you will, and it may not appeal to everyone. The Calden is a pretty lackluster pistol in my opinion, and you may disagree with me here, but I don't know, maybe I'm just biased because I'm totally a revolver kind of guy. The augments are decent, lock-on and quick draw seem pretty complimentary for Bushwhacker's role as the engineer with an automated defense ability. Tryhard is situational and it does come in handy. The loadout as a whole is decent, I wouldn't say it's a terrible loadout by any means, I mean it could be worse guys. I could have gotten something like Pineapple Juggler for Bushwhacker or Cool, which I personally hate, I hate Cool. Um, I do wish this loadout came with something like Steady, which gives you 22% more health for deterrence, or maybe even Spares, as the Blishlock's ammo count is pretty low by default in my opinion. Guardian Angel would also be nice, as it alerts you when artillery or airstrikes are coming in. Anyways guys, I hope you found this review helpful. Please remember to like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my content. Let me know what you guys think of this loadout, especially the Blishlock. And uh, until next time guys, I'll see you around.